most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having. When we think to do this, we're always thinking about who will be our partner in life. We're thinking about who's going to love us until we're old and gray. Who's going to tend to us despite what we look like that might day. And what we're thinking about today is how do I find that partner and how do I meet that partner. And sometimes we meet that partner as a stranger. And then all of a sudden our life becomes, well, even stranger. Because we discover that we can't live without that partner. And we discover that we can't function well without that, well, person in every endeavor. And when we think about that person today, we get all sorts of experiences in our situation. And what I mean is that we really can't function. It's not true. We really miss them. We miss their heart. We miss their mind. We miss their soul. We miss their looks. We miss their smile. We miss everything about them. And it's rare when a man meets a couple girls like that. Because usually he meets a lot of people who doesn't feel like that. But what I'm talking about is the neatness of that. That God often puts people on our path. And maybe the first interaction doesn't go perfectly smooth. But then all of a sudden, everything is cool. So we have to really think about how we meet people and what we feel. And if we're feeling a prompting in our soul that I want to see that person again, or I want to meet that person again, or I need to do this over again, then it's probably right to do it. It probably means God is encouraging you and his angels are saying, yeah, it's really right for you. You just have to work it. 